So just a real quick update on this axle build with Red Rebel. And a lot of you guys are going to think to yourselves, um, well, why didn't you think of that? I mean, it's common sense. Well, I don't know why I didn't think of it, but uh, anybody, you can argue with me all you want and say drum brakes are not hard to work with. They're easy. They're simple. In my opinion, I can take the suckers apart in a matter of minutes. It's so easy to take them apart, even if they're rusty. Um, putting them back together, on the other hand, I suck at it. I struggle with them. I fight with them. I hate drum brakes. I hate them. So I was dreading when I go to put this axle here into a Red Rebel that uh, I was going to have to swap all of the drum brake parts over to this axle disassemble them well i'm pulling the axles out anyways because i'm putting new outer bearings and axle seals in on both sides um so i decided to pull the axles out today which i did and then i thought to myself why don't i just remove the backing plates because you can take the backing plates off with all of the drum brakes assembled still and just take the whole assembly and bolt it right to this axle. Not to mention, then I don't have to worry about unscrewing the uh, brake lines and possibly breaking brake lines. I can literally live the brake, leave the brake lines hooked up to the wheel cylinders, pull the backing plate off the other axle, set them on you know a milk crate or something, and pull the other axle out. Stick this axle in, slide the other backing plates on, Rebolt all of the mounts back up with all the brake lines and everything and never have to unhook none of that stuff I never have to unhook any of that stuff so I'm glad I thought about that um like I said a lot of you guys are gonna argue with me oh it's not that hard to do and why didn't you think of that to begin with well I didn't and I'm just ecstatic that I did so anybody that is dreading that remember that that you can literally remove the backing plate with the entire brake assembly still on it and just swap the only thing is is you have to pull the diff cover off remove the pin and pull the C this uh this, the I don't know the C locks or whatever you want to call them um C clips out and then pull the axles out in order to get the backing plate off because you can't get the backing plate off without removing the axles so i mean but in my opinion i'd rather do all that than disassemble the drum brakes it's just in my opinion that's easier so um just a thought and uh we got a little bit farther with it as you can see drum brakes are off and everything everything's all uh disassembled now it's just time to clean her up and get a rudder for paint so stay tuned